Hi everyone, Claire Horner here for the Ice Resin Creative Team and I'm just here with a new video project for you today so I hope you enjoy. Bye! Today I'm going to show you how to make a plate out of resin, a rubber stamp and some painter's tape. The type of stamp you need is red rubber and it will not work with clear polymer stamps so please keep that in mind if you try this technique. So to begin I'm going to put my stamp on its acrylic block. It is a lot easier if your stamp is square even if there's space and your stamp actual image ends before your rubber does, it does just make it easier. The first thing I'm going to do is take some of the painter's tape and I'm going to put it all around the edge of the rubber stamp. The object is to build a solid wall As I'm building the wall, I'm rubbing my nail across the red rubber to make sure that the tape has adhered to it. The next step is to go around the whole stamp and burnish and just squeeze the edges a little bit to make a square. As I burnish with my finger you can see that I'm making the tape stick to the rubber which is the effect that you want because we don't want the resin to fall out of the sides and don't forget to nip them corners to keep them square you want to repeat this process on all four sides So your finished piece should look like this. You should have solid walls and they should be straight. As straight as you can get them. An extra burnish does help. And then the next step is to mix our resin. So I'll be back with mixed resin in a minute. Next I'm going to take my mixed resin and the bubbles are nicely rising to the surface because I've mixed such a large amount it's, it's really easy to whip bubbles into it by accident so they will rise naturally and I'm not worried at all which I think I just said so I'm going to try and pour it all over evenly. I will have to do this in two batches because of the large stamp. Ice resin will seamlessly join one layer to the next so it's not an issue if the whole stamp isn't covered the first time. I'm going to give it a little wiggle about and encourage the resin to flow into all the cracks. At this point you should be watching around the sides 
and plug in any leaks that you might see, but you shouldn't see any. Not if you've burnished it correctly. Because this is quite a detailed stamp, I'm going to have lots of trap bubbles that won't be able to rise because they are trapped in the design of the stamp, which is fine. All I need to do is take a pin or something like a pokey tool and just release them bubbles. And the whole stamp is near enough covered with resin. Just missing a bit there, just gonna help it. And I can see there's quite a few trap bubbles. So I'm just going to encourage them to the surface. See this stuck in the design of the stamp? That's nothing to do with the resin, that's because the stamp is so detailed. And the lollipop stick is far too large to be doing this. So I'm going to take a pokey tool and just push them out. As long as they get to the surface and out of the cracks, they will disperse on their own but it's just releasing them from being trapped where they are. So if you would like to see the end project and how it looks when it's finished, please come back to the iceresin.com website and you will see a full post on my finished project. Thanks for watching. Bye.